Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video today and I would talk about what it was that I wish I knew when I started my career as a software developer. So, so what are the things that, that I wish that I knew when I started out as a software developer that would have, would have helped me? So I started out sort of on a rocky path to software development. When I was, when I was really young, I had gotten into playing uh, multi-user dungeons, the, these MUDs. It's a precursor to like EverQuest and, and World of Warcraft. And I wanted to create my own MUD, right? And so what I did was I found the source code that you could download and I found someone that would let me host the, the MUD on their Linux server. And I started hacking around in the C code that I, had, I knew nothing about, right? That was, that was really my first real programming experience before then. I'd worked on an Apple IIe, been introduced to that in school and did some basic programming, but I was writing some hardcore C code there. I, I had no idea, I had no book. I was just kind of learning C from just looking at the source code, to be honest with you. There was no Google <laughs> to search for things at that time, and you, I just kind of, I kind of figured it out. And so, you know, at that time, I, I believe that it would be so difficult to write my own application. I believe that there was so much to learn. Uh, I believe that it was impossible for me to, to write an application on my own. And, and so, and, and I, I didn't even realize that I could probably buy some books <laughs> on C. So I wish when I started out that, that what I would have figured out was that it, it wasn't gonna be, that basically it was going to take a while but then i would get it right and this is another thing i think that that i would say with this is so from there after i developed with with the mud i went to school got my went, went to see uh, went to college to get my cs degree and the java class that i took the first java class almost made me quit programming because i, I just hated it it was just all like writing loop iterators and writing sorting algorithms, kind of the basic stuff, but it wasn't fun. It wasn't creating the, the games. I wanted to be a game programmer. I wanted to, to do that. And so, you know, I guess, you know, thinking about those and, and how those experiences and how it almost caused me to not become a programmer, it sort of discouraged me from the beginning. I didn't realize what it was going to take, right? I didn't realize what was going to happen and that it would suddenly click for me. And that's, I guess that's probably the, the biggest thing that I would say is that I wish when I was a software developer that someone had told me, that someone had said, hey, John, you know, here's the thing. All you got to do is you just got to keep learning. You just got to keep on reading. You just got to keep on writing. You know, you can start writing an application right away. You don't have to just, you know, just do practice drills. You can start by creating some small application and you can create it on your own. And if you do, eventually it's just going to click. Because I remember there was a point when I was learning C++, when I was really learning it, and I was going through the book and I was just going through the exercises and I, I just was not getting it. It just didn't make sense to me. Object-oriented programming didn't make sense to me. And I was really frustrated and it actually, I gave up a few times, to be honest with you. Like I didn't, I mean, didn't totally give up, but I would, I would waste time, I would procrastinate, and I, I, I wasn't as motivated and wasn't as driven because I felt like I was never gonna get it. And even if I did get it, I wasn't gonna be able to build an application on my own. But eventually what ended up happening was that one day, you know, just, it, it seemed like one day, but probably it was, it was more of a progression. It just seemed to click for me, right? I just, I said, I got it. Object-oriented programming made sense. C++ made sense. And I was able to do it. And so I wish that I would have known. I wish someone would have told me that, hey, if you just stick with it long enough, if you just keep on going at it every day, that you're eventually going to get there and you're going to be able to build an application. You're going to be able to do this stuff. Because I, I think I, I spent a good amount of the early part of my career without the confidence, with, with feeling like there's always this super high level and I was way down here and I didn't realize that I, that it wasn't that big of a gap, that like the, the things that I thought were impossible, like creating your own complete application, 
it wasn't that hard, right? It wasn't it wasn't that it was was it was easy, but it was it was way more achievable than I expected. So because I had that limiting mindset, I never tried to I could have become an entrepreneur earlier. I could have started building my own software and selling that software and I could have been building applications. I could have advanced my career much faster, right? But I, I didn't realize that. The other thing I would say also is that one of the mistakes that I was making early on was I was trying to learn a bit about everything. So I was reading, I was reading uh, f fanatically, but I was reading all these different books. I would go to the bookstore at Barnes and Noble and I would look at the computer section, per computer programming section, and I would just pick books, uh, stuff that interested me and, and learn that stuff instead of focusing on one thing. So to sum it up, I, I would say this, you know, what, what do I wish I would have known when I started my software development career? One that it would take time and if I just stuck to it, it would eventually click. There would be a, like that, that moment of, of clicking where you'd go from feeling like you just don't get it and you don't understand it to it just becoming very, very clear. Two, stop being scattershot. I wish I would have known that if I would have focused on one technology, one thing, and just worked hard at that one thing instead of being all over the place and just reading a bunch of books instead of actually writing applications, I would have got advanced much, much faster. And then the third thing I would say is that if I, I would have known, I wish I would have known that I could actually start creating applications. That I didn't need to like, you know, it didn't need to take me five years before I could actually, I could, I could do that from day one. I could create simple applications and I'd be able to build my own software and I could actually become an entrepreneur earlier. That, those, those would be the, the big three that I would say. I mean, there's a lot of lessons I could give you that, that I, I wish I would have known when I started out, but th those are the big three I could think of right now. So if you like this video, uh, I got a, a request of you, which is to go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, I would I would love to have you as a subscriber, and I would love to hear your comments on uh, on what, what what were the things that you started out with, or that you would would have wish you'd known when you started out as a software developer. Leave a comment below, and uh, and by the way, if you like this T-shirt, go ahead and click me, and you can get a get a your own T-shirt, even even up to three XL if you need a three XL. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.